What up, y'all? Welcome to the Al Y'all Sports Show. Shout out to the East Coast, West Coast, Baker Street on, LES to the DDF. Man, so much shit to cover, man, but I'm gonna be light because I got a show tonight, man. We got a show tonight. Salute to the pickup show, team pickup, everybody contributing day by day. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know the trials and tribulations we're facing, and we will continue to face. Let's keep let's keep knocking them doors down, man. And uh, very important, you guys can go to www.dbtv.com, www.dbtv.com. Y'all can listen to our show tonight at seven o'clock. And if y'all want to ask any questions, y'all disagree with anything, there's a call-in number, 702-778-4710. I know Felix Guzman is calling for sure. We want Slim to call. We want Jay Boogie to call. We want Esco to call, Espo to call, everybody, man. Will the money line guy, anybody, man. Whatever y'all disagree with us, hit us up. If y'all agree with us, hit us up. We will love to take your phone calls, man. That's real talk, man. And uh, I move on to the next thing. I want to give a special shout out to my brother and my partner, man. I'm telling you on live, man. Not even live, but you know on video. I love you, man. And I'm not ashamed to say that, man. That decision you made, the last decision you made, really up my love for you, man. And I'm going to leave it like that. Nobody got to know what happened. But I'm letting you know, like I said, all through Facebook, YouTube, and all that. So you know this shit's sincere, man. And let's, let's go move on, man. Keep your head up, though. We're going to rock it tonight, man. And I also want to give you a shout-out to my man, G. G. Doc from G Clothing. Uh, that's Big Doc's boy who uh, who's affiliated with us. And the guy's man, cool. Matter of fact, I got his Hebrew hat right now that he blessed me with. He blessed Doc with a few things. The kid is real cool, man. And hopefully we can do a lot of things in the future, man. That would be really nice, man. And now time for the sports show. Um, we're going to go into the MLB, but before we go to the MLB, I'm going to go, I'm going to salute Drew Brees for passing the most passing yards ever in NFL. Uh, he surpassed Peyton Manning and Brett Favre, who was ahead of him on Monday night against the Redskins when he demolished the Redskins, something like 43 to 20. I mean, me and my boy, I don't know what we were thinking in the contest. We had the Redskins. It was the bad loss. But I also had the over Drew Breezy over 306, so I came back with that. But um, he, he got the all-time passing yards. He passed 71,940 yards that Peyton Manning had. And salute to Drew Breezy. I'm going to make that short and simple. Now we're going to go right into the MLB. I want to salute my New York Yankees. I don't care who talking shit about y'all. Y'all finished exactly what I thought at. I, I was hoping to get through one wild card, and I was even skeptical about that game with the Oakland A's because the Oakland A's was the hottest team in the second half. But salute to the Yankees. I don't care if y'all got bumped. Yes, I wanted to beat Boston. Yes, I was mad that night. I'm not going to front, but I knew our pitching wasn't enough. We had too much hitting, and we had not only hitting, we had too many strikeouts with the hitting with John Carlos and Judge. Um, I know they're the Twin Towers or whatever you want to call them. But if, if I can get rid of John Carlos for two starting pitches, especially one elite pitcher, I will. No disrespect to John Carlos, but I think we got enough bats. We need more pitching. And I knew that our bullpen, I like it. We wasn't steady all year. We were injured. We were blowing shit. But I like the arms that we got out there. So salute to the Yankees. Now we're going to go to the MLB uh, playoffs. There's, there's four teams left. Four teams left. And I'm going to start with the first series, which is going to be the L.A. Dodgers at the Brew Crew. Um, it's going to be a great series. I mean, when you got, you know, the players that these guys got, Kershaw, you got Justin Taylor, you got Justin Turner, Yassi Puig, Bellinger, you got Muncy. Uh, L.A., 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 man, you know, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They keep putting that product out there. Magic's running them. And as long as you got Kershaw, you got a chance. Look what happened last year. There was one game from winning it all. And the Brew Crew is the most surprising team. I mean, they surprised the shit out of me. But I know my ball players, and the ball players they picked up a real study. You know, they still got Ryan Braun. They got Jesse Aguilar, who blew up this year. And two guys they picked up for the Royals using Lorenzo Kane and Mike Muscasas. You know what I mean? Those are key acquisitions. 
You got guys that went to two straight World Series who still pretty young, maybe just touched the 30s, that are still hungry. So they bring that World Series caliber to the Milwaukee Brew Crew, and, and it's, spread, it's, it's spreading in there like, you know, like drunkness. You know what I'm saying? Like drunkness in the bar. When everybody get in the bar, everybody start hitting everybody drunk. That's how that, that winning formula is going over there in Milwaukee. And, you know, and they got, you know, decent pitching with Chan Singh, Freddie Perota, Gio Gonzalez, Wade Miley. I mean, I'll say they mediocre, but they got the, one of the best bullpens in the game. Statistically, they are the best, but I think my Yankees got the best bullpen. But statistically, with Josh Hader, Corey Knubu, Jeremy Jeffress, uh, Joe Kim Soria, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they loaded. Corbin Burns, they loaded. So basically, Milwaukee just wants to go five innings, stay in the game, put in that bullpen like they did all second half of the year, and win the game. And the line is minus 160 if you're taking the Dodgers to win the series. Now, 80% of the betters are on the Dodgers. I'm going to show y'all balls again like I did with the Yankees series. Now, everybody was on Boston. I took a shot with the Yankees, but I did one with Milwaukee, so I split it. I went 1-1. I'm going to take the Brew Crew, man. I'm taking the Brew Crew in this series, six, seven games. I know Dodgers got the better team, but you know what? It's too easy to take teams that you expect to win. What makes a great capper or a great picker is the guy that got balls to take the other side and win. So I'm going to take the Brew Crew in six, seven games. That's my upset series. Now I'm going to slide to the Houston Astros Boston Red Sox series. Houston Astros definitely got the better team. That's no question about that. I mean, top through bottom, when you got Atuve, Correa, Guriel, Bregman, Gonzalez, I mean, Houston Astros are loaded. They start in pitcher with Cole, Verlander, Morton, Keiko, McCullers. That's the best five anybody could offer, pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? And when you go to the Red Sox, I mean, it's not as intriguing. Let's let's keep it funky. I mean, when you got to put out there, you know what I'm saying? You got to put out there like guys that, you know, like Chris Sale. Chris Sale's the man. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Chris Sale. Chris Sale needs to win two to three games in a series for Boston to advance. And then you got David Price, who's a horrible playoff pitcher. I don't know why. All year he does good every year. Playoffs, he's a choke master. Then you got Priscilla, who I don't trust with that light stuff. Because to me, I'm a true believer. You got to have giddy up in the playoffs because you ain't tricking nobody with that light stuff. I'm telling you right now, unless you Greg Maddox, you dig what I'm saying? And, and, and unless you Greg Maddox, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that light stuff ain't going to cut it. Uh, and Nathan Avaldi, who I think could be the sleeper of this series, because if Chris Shell could win two, they'll just need one game from Price or Priscilla, which is going to be real hard to get. And I think Evaldi keep, you know, throwing at 100 miles per hour. Houston haven't really seen them. I mean, they've seen them a couple years back, but he's not on the map like that. And right now he's getting the ball at 100 miles per hour in the seventh inning. So that's the only way Boston could win. If they could get two from Sale and then they got to get one from Price Pacello and Evaldi another one, that would be four games. And also they hitters got to hit. I mean, everybody's got to step up. Mookie Betts got to step up. J.D. Martinez, you know what I mean? Jackie Bradley Jr. got to show me something, man. Ian Kinsler, you know what I'm saying? Devers, they got to step up as a unit because if they have stepped in any way like the Yankees did against them, Houston's going to bleed through this series. I got Houston in seven. Houston's minus 140. Boston's plus 120. Don't be surprised if Boston wins this series. That's all I'm saying. I'm this close to taking Boston. But I'm not going to take two underdogs. I'm just not going to do that. So I'm going to take the Strohs, and I'm going to take the Brewers. That's going to be my World Series picks right there, or to go to the World Series, those two teams. And with that, thank you guys for tuning in. This is short and simple because I got a big show tonight. It's going to be an hour long, so I can't be throwing energy away because CC Big Dot... You know what I'm saying? Holly Hotwell, they all want all my energy. John Styles, they don't want me going in there halfway. So I'm going to give you all 10 and keep it pushing to the night. Like I said, tune in. The Pickup Show, we need y'all to tune in. We want to get controversy with y'all. We want to go back and forth with y'all. Share the love. 
Salute the 